you were younger though, but if you had it to do all over again, you saying you no, would not, I, I, I you wouldn't, wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't, but I also wouldn't bash any other communities because God is dealing with every community. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Well, okay, when you seen, um, okay, when you, when you seen that cat had said that, though, where were you at and when you first heard about it? Man, you, I was asleep. Somebody woke you up? Yeah, he got calls. I got called, man. I got called. I mean, he said, uh, what did he say exactly? I can't no, here, here, here's what's funny. He's like, <laughs> here's what's funny about those things. I told Brandon D. Jackson not to wear the dress, but then I told them to go get Brandon D. Jackson to wear the dress. I'm yes. like, <laughs> yes. I'm like, did I just get, yes, I did I just get pimped? Uh huh. <laughs> so, so I'm, I said he told me not to wear the dress, but then he said I told them to go get Brandy Jackson. That's what y'all want. I'm like, why are you gonna refer me to the devil? <laughs> and when I don't, that, don't refer me to the devil because I know you because you would have did it. I'm, like, nigga, I'm 23, nigga, 25, whatever. <laughs> See, when I saw that, I'm like, okay, so was it be, be because of him? Why you got that role? I have, no, you know, it's funny. I thought the same thing. I'm like, yo, you should have called me if you're in the meeting with uh, agencies talking about. You know, Brandon T. Jackson, you go get him. That's what y'all want. And they're like, hmm, we should get Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> right. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, okay, but the movie, I ain't gonna lie, I enjoyed the movie, bro. It's a good movie. I'm not no, gonna no, sit no, here okay. and play with y'all and act like I didn't like the movie because I'm gonna be real with you. I'm a Martin fan, too. I'm so, a Martin fan. Okay, I'm about to And this. I did not feel we, like we watching, gotta be hold fair on, here. Hold on, watching the movie from a pe female perspective, looking at you wearing a dress, I did not feel like, okay, he's you know, bisexual, he's gay, he's this, he's that, mm -hmm. or whatever. I did not feel that. No, me neither. I'm looking at you like, yeah, he trying to get in on them girls. That's what he trying to get. <laughs> he's trying to get closer to them girls. Yeah, everyone says that, right? So here, here's here's what I say about the, the Big Mama's house. I'm a Martin fan. Mm -hmm. Me too. If Martin sits you down <laughs> at a Ruth's Chris with a big diamond ring on saying, you could be like me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you want to make five, <laughs> ten, twenty million a Ooh, movie? Smooth. At 24, 25? 24 is when I shot at 25, I think, when it came out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's always weird to me when I do uh, ages in my, uh, my, my um, you know, shooting, because shooting, they, they, they edit it, it comes out. So when you hear that, you like, okay, it's Martin Lawrence. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gonna say no to Martin and the rules, Chris? I, got, I'm like, no. I mean, I mean, stay like, steak, right. not doing it. And then we gonna do this movie. <laughs> 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 we gonna eat some I, I want steaks, that nigga. ring, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, you like I said, man. I, I, I know that you were younger though, but if you had it to do all over again, you saying you no, would not, I, I, I you wouldn't. wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't, but I also wouldn't bash any other communities because God is dealing with every community, and I, I don't want to, I don't want anybody to feel that um, my standpoint on on my spirituality. Is is the all be of their journey? Yeah, because and I, I know that sounds very vague and like you know uh, 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 pandering. I would say, but I would say because I, God's dealing with me in my journey. Y'all just met me over there. Yeah, I'm getting Jameson shots over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, talking to this uh, lady over here about messages God has given me. You cannot say that God can't use any any community on what He wants to prove for His example, and that's why I don't bash other community. I'm saying I won't do it again. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it again. Yeah, but at that age, where I'm were just you? Not gonna do it. I where were you stupid. spiritually though? At that point, 24, 25. Well, I was born in it. I strayed. I was born in. I know because your mom and dad preachers. Yes, and my grandfather. And your grandfather. And my great grandfather. I loved when I researched your and grandfather. And preachers' kids is bad. Sometimes I said what I said. Preachers' kids is bad. Listen, we go. I to, had some friends. We go to club. We go to strip club. We go to the gospel strip club. That's <laughs> 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 I told you, see, I know you called it when you was younger because of that. They, they put their clothes on at the gospel <laughs> church. They got choir robes. No, man, but I know it was tough. I know it was tough growing up. Being How, how was that pressure, though? Like? Well, I challenged religion. I challenged every spirituality, and I, I just wanted when to When you were younger, you did? Because you had to no. do whatever your parents said when you were a kid. Um, When I got around uh, 18 is okay. where I was like, you know, why does God always need money? You know, I still it, ask that question. Right? Is that your first question that you asked when you started thinking about it? Yeah. Okay. The first question I asked was, why does God always need money? Mm -hmm. You know, like if he's God, he doesn't care about these slave notes, right? Yeah. That we, uh, we all ask this question. Everybody. Everybody. But then you realize that we're in a system of capitalism. 
And in time that God is dealing with America or any other country in the system that he allowed to be set up, this is the only effective way to get out the word. Is what This is what preachers want to say. The only way I can get the word out is if y'all, pay, you know, it, it sounds bad because no matter what happens, everybody's asking for money. You, no, every Listen, I'm going to tell you right now. Whether you, that's at, right. Are you that's ready? Right. You ready? I'm going to go down it. Everybody always have a problem with religion and money, but then you don't have a problem with strip strippers and money. I can agree with that. Okay. For sure. So let's take it like this. Look at lessons of evil. Because we're so mad when preachers ask for money, right? Even if they're righteous, not the fake, like, I'm, I'm, I got a movie I'm writing about this, but they're doing something behind the scenes. Let's just say everything in America costs money. Right. Mm-hmm. To get the good messages of God out, you have to push it and push the money. You have to. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You have to. Uh, uh, people got to be paid. You got the, the staff, the deacons, the everything. The Say anything else. The bills, the building. Mm-hmm. This is a bank structure built by America, not by the church. Right. It's not built by the almighty's kingdom. In the almighty's kingdom, there's no money. Yeah. And this is where the scam come in. Tell everybody to work for free. They can't. Exactly. Because well, they got to pay their own bills. Exactly. I, I got to say this, though. There are so many different ways that so many different people look at what they read and how they are due to the word of God, right? Well, you we at, when you think about like, and, like, and like Creflo stuff like Dollar, that. he comes back and say, I shouldn't have never even done the tithe thing like that. I should have, I want to restructure what I'm well, doing. because he's reading oh, no. the actual scriptures, but that That's was right. in, but that was in I Israel. I know what you're about to say. That was in the land. That's right. In the land when you're free and, you, and there's no dictation of how you feel, the, you, 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 you set the standard of the law, which means the law said that God says just bring this plants and whatever but the law is under democracy which is a roman empire yeah. you can't you can't it's like you're trying to be righteous in a wicked society the best you can you think about it man like i always tell people there's a it, and that's where you, the promise when, land when you in. look at second corinthians and you go into 9 10 and 11 and 12 verses i mean chapters you start to see where the people were being manipulated and they were having money taken from them mm-hmm. but they wasn't able to give. And so Paul was saying, y'all let people come in and take money from y'all when y'all wasn't able to give. But the Bible... Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. thing I'm got, saying is, basically, the Spirit should allow you to know when people are able to give and when they're not, when you're a leader. That's all. I, I think highly about that because some people, I've been to places, she know how I am. I'll go there. If it's something don't it look right... It feels like a tax. I would tell them, like... This, this, these people shouldn't be paying you. They don't even have the money. I have been taught. I taught at homeless shelters where people were taking money from people. They were trying to give me money. I'm like, I got a home. You know, what I'm, I'm being <laughs> yeah, real. I, was, yeah. I had to tell them because it was other people that was coming in. So I felt Paul on that because I seen that happen, and I'm like, they shouldn't be taking money from people who are not able to give, even though they got a little sum sum. You know what I'm saying? But then those people think if you don't take it, I'm not gonna be blessed. Cause well, they, let's look at it like this. Let's look at this. Every nation that uh, is, is, is founded on, um, how do I say this the right way without getting in trouble? <laughs> this man gonna get in trouble every time he talk anyway. No, no, because I know how to talk. <laughs> I know how to say it, because I'm, I'm knowledgeable when it comes to scriptures. What, 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 what I'm saying is that there's no kingdom of God on the earth that's, that's putting a law of God on the earth fully. Democracy is controlling the narrative. Thank you, Father. It's controlling the narrative of everything. So, in the in the kingdom, is a monarchy, which is Christ is the king, David is the second, right? If you want to talk about scriptures, and then you have the children of Israel, right? So, when you talk about these things, that structure is not in place right now. So now we have to deal with democracy. Which is like, okay, if you were to challenge the Bible, you could say the Bible is, a, is, is, is you won't say it's communist, you won't say it's fascist, you would say the Bible's a monarchy. The Bible's a monarchy. The, the kingdom of God is a monarchy, period. We are in a democracy. That's so true. how do you establish your, the, the message of God to, to, to uh, uh, thank you, Father, to, to um, um, strive towards the kingdom, as we say, the righteous order, as we say, right? And then do it in a democracy. Those are two different civilization types of, of mindsets. So when you start talking about monarch, uh, if some right now, they're saying right now, Trump 
is trying to take over the democracy and become a communist monarchy and uh, 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 he's the king or whatever. That's the big play on Trump. Now think about this. Everything that we fight against in democracy is what the Bible says to do in a, mon in a monarchy. If I'm saying that right, excuse me. Uh, um, am I saying that right? Monar mm -hmm. uh, monarchy? Monarchy? Yeah, right? yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because it's my, my Detroit accent becoming his. That's all love. So, so in, 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 in the kingdom, there's a king. It's called the kingdom. Is a king. And there's 12 el 24 elders, right? So that's your senate. That's your, your state, right? But they have no vote over the king. It was like Christ the king. Right, we're gonna say Christ. Everyone says Christ is the king, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody's gonna crack the sky and set up a righteous government. It doesn't fit with democracy. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.